Hi everyone, welcome back. Alright, I'm gonna put two hauls together, one's from Sephora, one's from Macy's, but basically all Urban Decay. So from Macy's, these are on sale, the Urban Decay collab with Kristen Lee Ann. So I picked up the eyeshadow palette called Daydream. Wait a minute, little brush is gonna fall out. These are all matte shades. Make sure to stop blinding you. And it does come I'm gonna drop it. <laughs> a little dual sided brush. And I also picked up the palette, which is called Kaleidoscope Dream, and I'm wearing this today. I'm liking it. This also has a dual sided brush. Here's the inside. Now, you know a palette like this, just because there's like round and square and all that, that's going to make me nuts, so these we will be departing. I'll just depot these in together. And this I'm wearing today. Let me show you. I didn't get the best of blending done, but hey, it happens. Uh, let's see here. How do I do this? I'm going to look at myself. I wasn't sure what this white little shade was going to come out. I thought it was, yeah, it has like a slight pink tinge to it. You can see that. So that is on... I should zoom in. The inner corner. Center of the lid is the purple shade called Spitfire. So that's on the center. And then on the outer corner, just a little bit of dye, which is this deep purple shade. And then for the crease, I went into the other palette. And I used this orangey shade. In the center called 1212 and brow bone I think I went with yeah daydream this lighter shade and then for the lower lash line I put on a blue eyeliner from Urban Decay which one I look wait a minute okay leave it out wait a minute oh I did this is from one of the other collections the Jean Michael Basquiat shade here. Does it have a shade name on it? Vivid Blue. Right there. So I put that along the lower lash line. And then on the outer part of the lash line, I used um, TRM, which is this deep shade. So that's on the very outer part. And then along the rest of the lash line is low, that blue. And then on the inner corner, I did my NYX, you know, white pencil and used this side of the shade here, which must be Leo. And that's the pop of color on my inner corner. So it is versatile enough for me. I mean, I probably could have did one look out of this palette, but since I had them both, I wanted to play a little. But the look came out nice. I'm liking it. I want to see how it wears and everything like that. But we shall see, won't we? Let me back you back up. I'm not scaring the hell out of you. <laughs> okay. So these two I picked up from Macy's. And they're all on sale right now. Like half off. I'm telling you, wait for those sales, man. It makes it worth it. Um, okay. So when Urban Decay sent me lip glosses, I went online and said, well, I really need to do a Sephora order. And I've been waiting on... The back talk palette. I've been eyeing this like no tomorrow. Where's my own? So I purchased it. Well, lo and behold, the day after I purchased it, Urban Decay sent it to me. So I have two. Um, Gina might buy the other one, or I might just keep it and then the, the pot one. But I'm going to do a separate video on the back talk um, products that Urban Decay sent me on that. But I did pick up another highlighter palette. This is the ONS Afterglow Highlighter Palette. So this is the box. And this is like $17, I want to say. Normally like $34, so it's definitely a half-off deal. These are the shades here. It's very pretty. Very, very pretty. So I grabbed that. Uh, for some samples, I picked up the Makeup Forever Artist Little Eyeshadow. You know, like the 100-point things. And like I said, if you ever want a good makeup remover, the Sephora Waterproof Makeup Remover. This is the dual. 
And this I'll definitely take to New York with me. And I was laughing. I ran out of the Urban Decay Primer Potion. So I just picked up the little 100 point one. Because, I mean, you got you know of eye primer. You only use a little bit. Uh, what else did I grab? I grabbed the Sephora uh, Luster Matte Long Wear Lip Colors. I love these. And this is a shade on sale. This is called Fig. It's a really pretty color. Nice mauve. And I think these are still on sale for only like $5. That's my kind of deal right there. Uh, what else did I pick up? Maybe this was a point thing too. Oh, this was like one of the codes. The Smashbox Super Fan Fanned Out Mascara. So it's a deluxe sample. Since I'll be going to the makeup shows, if I could try the sample now, maybe I could buy the full-sized at the show for a better deal than paying full price for it. But it has a red tube like that. And I also picked up three more lipsticks from the clearance section that are only $8.50. Let me get the box out of the way here. So I picked up this shade Sabotage, which is a cream. I'll give you a swipe just here. It's a beautiful shade. Also TMI, which is in the sheer category. You're going to see a trend here. kind of went with all the same colors. There is TMI. And Cruise is a cream shade. It's a nice purple. Right there. Okay. So, yeah, like I said, when a company sends me product, I've been buying Urban Decay for years since they opened, which was probably in the 90s. I just remember me and my mom were probably at a mall, one of the states we lived in at the time, and was like, what's this Urban Decay? And went in, and I was just like, whoa, this is fun. So I've been buying Urban Decay for years. Don't ever think I'm bashing them. I'm just always trying to find you guys, you know, affordable dupes. Like, if they come out with a dupe for back talk, you could know I'm going to show you the guys the dupes for it. Absolutely. And I think that was all I did from the Sephora haul. Yes. Okay. And like I said, I'll do another video on the back talk, but I have a backup of back talk. <laughs> all right, everyone have a fabulous day. I will see y'all soon. Bye.